Hi, in this video we'll be seeing how to edit the text in your PowerPoint. Let's see that. Suppose you want to uh, format your text, let's say you want to color it, you want to resize it, you want to put a background color or you want to have the shadows etc. Many more things can happen. So I have some text on the screen which is not in a proper format. What I can do is I can just edit it in a very simple manner. If you have a mouse, you can just click on that directly like this. If you do not have a mouse, what you can do is you can use the shortcut key F6 to navigate between this pane, this pane and this pane. So this is for the home tab and the design and uh, home tab and the uh, uh, ribbon itself and second one is the play, uh, place where you can just write the contents and that's the slide sorter. To any place you can just press F6 to navigate if you do not have a mouse. If you have a mouse it's very simple. So if I press F6 see what happens. I'll press F6 from my keyboard. You see it's on this place. If I press F6 from my keyboard again you see right now it is on this place it is selected. If I press F6 again. So you see there is nowhere right now and if I press tab see what happens. Again if I press F6 still didn't uh, show anything and if I press tab see what happens. So one time if I keep on pressing F6 and now I am pressing tab from my keyboard within this place if I want to navigate I will just press tab from my keyboard. So now, now I have come to this place what I can do is if I want to edit or resize it anything I can just use the shortcut key from my keyboard as control shift down arrow, left arrow key. So if you see I have written the shortcuts if you the shortcut for increasing and decreasing the font is control shift and angle bracket that's the increasing or decreasing. If you want to decrease the size you have to use control shift left angle bracket. So I'll go back to my place keep my cursor here I mean I have by using the F6 key and without using the mouse without going to that place you can see you can reduce the size of the font control shift uh, left angle like this. If you see the size is getting decreased from this place. Similarly, if you want to increase, you can increase this place. Similarly, if you want to increase or decrease the size of this place, select the data or else you can just decrease or you can increase according to your requirement or else if you want, you can choose from this drop down the list of size which you want for their particular font. So, I will select 32. So, it is very uh, big. So, I will say yes, I want less than 32, let us say 24. Now it is 24 size. So same way I can also choose many other options like changing the font type from here. These are different font types available. So I will select any one font type and if you want to make it bold italic underline. So the shortcuts are also available. Ctrl B for bold, Ctrl I for italic, Ctrl U for underline. So I can choose here bold italic underline and using the shortcuts B U I that is Ctrl B for bold. The bold will remove Ctrl I for italic, Ctrl I. And for underline I can use control U to remove and to bring it back. So this way you can do the formatting or editing the data. Now if you see there is an option given here for the uh, I mean the gap between the words how do you want very loose very tight. So right now it is normal if I say I want tight. So you see how the words are now complex among each other. Similarly if I want very tight you see again the space between the word and the text and the uh, alphabets is de getting decreased. If I say I want the loose, you see how loose they are in terms of space between the words and the alphabets everywhere. And similarly, I can choose very loose. Right now, I'll keep it normal. Similarly, for this option, I'll keep as normal. Uh, this is already normal. If you want, you can keep it as loose itself. So loose is okay. So now, the next one is what type of case do you want? Upper case, lower case, sentence case, any case. So right now by default if I will select this sentence case, this is a sentence case, every uh, I mean the first alphabet of every sentence should be capital. Second if I select here lower case, all the alphabets will become in the lower case. Third one if you see that is upper case, all the text in the upper case. Next I have the other two words that is capitalized each word. You see this one capitalized each word of the alpha word is been capitalized, each alphabet. And the last one if you see there is a toggle case first alphabet of every word will be small and draw rest all the uh, text will be in capital letters. First alphabet will be small of every word like this and everything will be small, uh, uh, bigger. Same way if I want to change the font color also I can select the font color from this place. I will select this black, I can select this red or any other color itself and the options available. So if you see this one it is very difficult to make the person understand what exactly it is written. So you can make into a bullet point if you want. You select the data and you see there is an option as bullet point. So this way you have selected the bullet point over here. And you can show in the point wise to the user itself. Next if you see on the right hand side 
I have the numbering part also so I can select this numbering part like ABC 1 2 3 and so on so I'll select as 1 2 3 and the number part similarly I can select see the other option as ABC according to your requirement you can choose the uh, uh, what you call the formatting part next I have the alignment part if you see I have the middle alignment I have the right alignment and I have the center alignment available here so that is left alignment middle and the right alignment so according to your requirement you can choose it similarly what is the space you want between the lines so right now the space between the lines is by default given if I select 1.5 the line spacing between two lines will be 1.5 similarly if you choose here some other option let's say I want the spacing as 2.5 so you see it is getting space so now you can properly utilize your screen and you can display the small text in a better manner and also I'll increase the size to make it look better yeah similarly there, there's one more option that is left indent and right indent so I'll just double click here and you see there's a right indent left indent so indent is a small spacing required like like you use a tab for eight spaces the indent can be for one single space itself so you see I can increase or decrease indent this way that means I can create a subset which you'll be seeing later uh, in the coming video itself so this way uh, it's very easy simple manner how you can edit or uh, format your entire text itself so I hope you are able to understand and uh, that's all for this video.